yeah. that's why I'm all about legalizing uh, mm -hmm. prostitution, mm -hmm. decriminalizing drugs, mm -hmm. because it's not natural to suppress human desires. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was talking with these conservative white ladies, right, you know, real mm -hmm. church going conservative. And they say, well, you know, it's the morals. And I was like, look, I say, stop talking about morals mm -hmm. and stuff in the U.S. I said, we got a $25 billion a year porno industry, and mm -hmm. I am a proud customer of it. <laughs> I know I make my contributions. And I say, that shit's natural. It makes you feel good. You know what right. I'm saying? So sex is beautiful, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, it's, I mean, it's unfortunate that some sex workers are forced into it. Right. But for the ones that want to do it, why demonize them? I mean, Right. The, as long as it's consensual, then yeah, what, what is the yeah, issue? You, you know? know, they sign mm -hmm. a contract. They're getting paid. Mm -hmm. You know, they pay their taxes. Mm -hmm. and, and to me, the difference between a sex scene on a damn regular TV series and a right. sex scene on porn is that one shows everything and one leaves it up to your imagination. Well, I'm right. one of them niggas that be, believe in, I go to a strip show, I don't need to see you tease. Come out naked and then dance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah. yeah I, so, but that's why we call ourselves the Raw Urban Mobile mm -hmm. Podcast because we believe in rawness. Mm -hmm. you know? But my only, my only concern with, with legalizing sex work wouldn't be uh, uh, um, the morality of it It's kind of like The same thing with weed It's like mm. What's gonna happen To all of the people that was, That's in jail For prostitution yeah. Are they gonna get free Cause that's there's, what a, I hope. There's, there's a bunch of Well in, in the US yeah, It's yeah. like It hasn't happened Like all of these Motherfuckers are still Locked up for weed While Chad is And, and Billy is, is Opening up a fucking uh, um, um, weed. weed dispensary weed, yeah, In Colorado weed. Selling weed Legally you, While all these Tyrones and Jeromes Is in jail because they had a fucking dime on them. You know, mm -hmm. speaking you know? of that, right, you just brought up a great point. I was listening to the news, and I listen to the news just for the sake of listening to them. I don't get emotionally involved in that shit, right? Mm -hmm. But you remember the former Speaker of the House, John Boehner, right? Mm -hmm. That motherfucker used to have all this tough legislation about weed and this, that, and the other. I just found out that this motherfucker is investing. You might want to look that up, but I just heard that he's investing into uh, a marijuana dispensary company and this, that, and the other. So now you're going to profit off the same shit you sent motherfuckers to jail, to jail for. for. Of course, that's and, how it always I, is. You know, that's a great point you brought up because also I was listening to where I think this prosecutor in California is working with some legal guys and they're working pro bono to get all the guys who are thrown in jail, mm -hmm. as many as possible, and he's talking about going with tens of thousands in California, mm -hmm out of jail for simple weed possession. Now, he ain't talking about the guys that were caught for simple weed possession and did a heinous crime or some shit. Right. But he's saying now, since it's becoming legal, what about, and you brought up a great point, what about the guys who are serving time, or what about the women who are in jail? You know, or what about the Johns who got arrested right. with these setups and shit? So, there's, yeah. There's, there's girls that I personally know that they weren't even sex workers. Like, they they literally have, have like, been, like, they were raped and they went and reported it, and they've been arrested for prostitution. Wow. Like, they were suspected of prostitution. Wow. But they, they were not even doing sex work. They literally got raped, but they suspected them, so it was like they held them overnight in jail. How do you get arrested when you go to report a crime? <laughs> wow. And Good. so that, that shit happens. You know, there's a lot of people that go to jail and still in jail for prostitution, and it's, it's, or, or, like, even people that, like, like you said, like, the people that are forced into sex work, which isn't sex work, that's sex trafficking, right? There's people that get forced into that and they have to go to jail because mm. they were participating in it as if, you know, like mm. they didn't really have a choice, mm -hmm. but they participated in it, you gotcha. know? And so they're in jail for that. And then my, also another concern of mine is, mm. is just like how insidious capitalism is. It's like, it's kind of like, if you look at a porn star's agent, they kind of like a pimp. Anyone that's an agent or a manager mm -hmm. in some form is a pimp yeah. because they're profiting off of somebody else's labor without actually doing it just because they're communicating and being the little middleman that's, yeah. getting them, that's booking them jobs. Mm. What does a pimp do? A pimp goes and gets uh, uh, women and, and he houses them and clothes them and he puts them on the street, they make money and he takes some of their cut from, from their money well, and he analogy, takes care of them. Yeah. Right. And so what's going to happen to that? Pimps are just going to become agencies and like model agencies, porn stars, I mean not porn stars, prostitutes are gonna be called models now. And like if you legalize prostitution like in, in, in the States, mm -hmm. um, you, you're you already gonna have these agencies for those things. You're gonna mm -hmm. have like these um, these brothels or like these, these, um, these houses that'll house women and they'll just call it an agency because it's legalized now and because they have all the paperwork and now what did we do is just sex work, we legalized it and it's still the same shit white men controlling the means of production for a bunch of people of color 
and women of color that are being basically um, 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 subjugated by these white men that own these big companies because they're the ones that have the means of mm -hmm. production in their, in their power. Mm -hmm. if, if you go to Europe, you'll see mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, right. Where it's more, it's more accepted, it's more professional, it's like, it's a business. Right. Um, yeah, I've been in Berlin, Prague, mm -hmm. had some, uh, some crazy nights there. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Maybe if I the money I spent on that, man, I'd probably be a billionaire by now. 